Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all these goodies. Oh my God, I just uploaded the vlog, vlog number 19. It's so much fun, you guys. Please watch it because so much has happened in the last two weeks. It's crazy. So it is the next morning. Here I am filming because that's what I do. So you guys saw that elf released these bad boys right here i'm so happy because i feel like i've been using the same bronzer for the drugstore for at least a year which is the l'oreal matte bronzer because i really love the shade i love how it works and these have a gut feeling they're good why does this look so red on camera look but it's not here as we know elf released these blah, 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 blah. elf released these blushes and bronzers let me give you info about them and then we'll get started the new elf primer infused matte blush retails for seven dollars they come in six shades i have two shades always fresh and always crushing matte bronzers i have two shades fresh tan and sun soap this is a long wear powder infused with primer for seamless blending and incredible stain power Buildable color with the matte finish, boosted with skin-loving ingredients, vitamin E, and jojoba oil. I purchased mine on e.l.f.'s website. They're basically the same thing. Just one is blush shades, the other one is bronzer shades. They're matte blushes and bronzers. So this is how it comes in this little package. The shelf life is 12 months. I feel like powder products do last longer than cream products. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this shade is always fresh, always crushing. And then the bronzes. I purchased mine on e.l.f. site. I'm sure they will be at Target, Walmart, the drugstore, Amazon too soon. Lately, e.l.f.'s been releasing on their site first or Ulta site. Okay, this is the bronzer. Fresh tan, warm. I wanted to get a warm and a cool tone. And this is sun soaked. This looks really red it's not you know how i feel about a red bronzer though i love a red bronzer the lid swatch the blushes so this is always fresh always crushing fresh tan sun soaked so always fresh always crushing fresh tan sun soaked they're pretty pigmented it's not too intense with matte products and powders you can typically build it up because i have a small face for the bronzers i want to use something smaller this is the shade i mean the brush 47 and then the blush a little bit something that's wider so on this side we're gonna do the lighter side always fresh and fresh tan and then the other side the other way so let me configure myself first up is the bronzer i'm going to use fresh tan Ooh, okay, fallout. This is a tighter brush, so the product will get in there a little more on the pigmented side. If you're using a brush like this, it's gonna be wider and fluffier, so it's gonna be more diffused. I wanna see how this works. If this doesn't work, you know, we move on. And I like this brush. I used this brush when I reviewed the NYX bronzer, and I liked it because it's a small brush, and I have a small face. Therefore, the product is just gonna stay there. You see how it's like nice, okay. Pigmented, but not too pigmented. It's definitely buildable. Yeah, and then we can always go in here. Oh yeah, this is, we got pigment here. Okay, I like this. I like, I like this brush because you see how it just keeps it put. Can add a little bit here. This you can tell it's very warm. It's gonna give you the sun-kissed look. That's what bronzers are, are typically. They will give you a sun-kissed look. They will add warmth to your skin. Next up is the blush, always fresh. I'm gonna use this brush. These are pretty pigmented. And I'm gonna go on top of that bronzer right here, just doing tapping motions. Tapping motions will keep the product literally where you tap it. The formulas are literally the same. They feel the same, so I like that. It's meshing in well. It's natural. We have a little natural look. This is just cute. It's you know, a little bit, a little bit of color. It's not too intense. It's not too pigmented where it's like, whoa, it could explode in la cara type. But this may, hold on, let's see. We're gonna now use a deeper shade and it's a little more on the red side, sun soaked. You see, I'm going to just tap it here to even that product out. So it goes evenly on my cheek. Oh, and I forgot to mention my bronzer, I try to meet it right here. 
at the top of my ear and I try to just keep it there. You know, sometimes I get carried away, but let's see. Not patchy, going on fairly smoothly. With this shade, I feel like you can see a little more wonkiness just because it's deeper. This first shade, it's super light. It's like your typical bronzer shade. When a shade is lighter, you can't see certain things. You can't see maybe a patch. You can't see if it's too dusty. Yeah, this is definitely deeper and redder. I love a red bronzer. You already know this. I'm like, okay. I'm going to turn this around and kind of just get those edges. Just diffuse. Let me add here. Okay. Okay, okay. And then my blush. We're going with Always Crushing. This is a bigger brush, so I need to be careful. I'm just going to tap it here at the top of the cheek. Okay. This brush is too big. Let's move on. Let's get this blush brush. I didn't like that one. And all my brushes are clean. I always like to use clean brushes when I'm doing my makeup or doing first impressions. Yeah, this is better. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We got a little more pigment here, which is cool. Now let's assess. Do I want to add more? Do I not? I always want to add more. So let's add more. I like to just go here on top. <laughs> and this is when my blush and bronzer go a little bit crazy. But it's okay. What is this one? Fresh tan? I'm just going to add it here. Let's see how pigmented it is. Wow, my nose is straight up running. Oh my God. <laughs> you can tell how pigmented a bronzer is, how it applies on your lid. Especially, I just set my lid with setting powder. It's like powder on top of powder. Oh yeah, this looks good. It's blending nicely. It's kind of reminding me of the... The next one is just more on the buttery side. I feel like it glides a little better. And then you can like add it here, connect it to your nose. Okay. Next up is Sun Soaked. Oh, okay, pigment. Oh my God, I'm going out today. I'm gonna have like two different eyes. And I'm just gonna bring it up, diffuse that over here. Um, oh, I love that there isn't a lot of fallout on this either. Looks really good. Let's put this hair up. I like this side. This warm side is nice. And I feel like this is meshing so well with this warmth. This shade I feel like is a little bit too light for me, just a smidge. Oh no, let's see. And this, this is like the deeper side. This is, I'm kind of liking this side a little more. Just a, a, just a little, like, I don't know. Something about it is giving me, let's clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna get some of my Laura Mercier powder. I'm just gonna clean the cheeks up like this. There's a bit of a sheen going on here. Yeah, there is. So subtle, I almost missed it. You see that? Not bad. This is matte, so I was expecting matte matte. But we'll see how it works. It is 10-12. You guys know I'm going to do an all-day wear test. So let me finish up, and I'll be back. All right, fam. I added a little more eyeshadow to my lid. I mean, my, is this the lid? No, my lash line. What am I saying? I was trying to even it out a little more because I'm going to be out and I'm not trying to have like completely different, different eyes, but I kind of low-key do. For $7, you literally can't go wrong with e.l.f. makeup. The pigment on these is great. They glide nicely. They're not as buttery. They do have like that matte powdery feel and look, but they do glide on nicely. That's just something... I did notice they do have a lot of kickback on the pan. Oh wait, is it this one? Yeah. That's not a big deal to me, but that does happen a lot when something very powdery. These have a slight sheen to it that I told you about. I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it, but I was just expecting something a little more on the matte side because these are primer infused matte bronzers and blushes. So I like it. I think they blend it out very, very well. Very smooth. No patches. Pigmented. The shade of peach. I don't know why I got this shade. The Always Fresh. It's a little too light for me. I would go a little bit deeper. The formula is nice. They swatched nice. Usually when you swatch them, it kind of gives you an idea how that formula is, how it looks and feels. You guys saw it was a little bit powdery but it did swatch sometimes things can be very powdery where there's no pigment to it it's just powder and it just like floof 
away you know i like them i think they look good let's see how it wears because you guys know i have oily skin i'm not sure if it's gonna wear well we'll see we'll see this side i want to keep a close eye on this side more so because this is the side that's gonna gonna do well the packaging is nice too like this sleek black and clear you literally see exactly what you have with the product i i like that i think that just makes things a lot easier especially visually you can just look and see what you have what shade instead of like turning to the back and looking like yo what is the shade let's remember this side is the light side the warm side and then this side is the deeper side i mean we could tell right because it's obvious. Let's go in front of the window. Oh, my lip combo is Warm Teddy from MAC. And look, I brought. And this dark brown from Smashbox. I've been loving the dark brown lip liner. Okay, let's go in front of the window. Hi. Okay, fam, this is how the blushes and bronzers look. This is the warm side with the lighter pink. Not really pink. I feel like it was like orange pink. And then here is the deeper shade. It looks good. You see this glow here? Mm-hmm. And my lids? What do you think? It looks good. Skin warmth. I don't know if it's oxidizing, but here in daylight, it looks a lot more intense than studio lighting. That's why I kept adding because studio lighting was tricking me a little bit. I like it. Let's see how it wears. Ciao. Hey, Leah, I'm back. It is 9.23. We've had the blush and bronzers on all day, but you know, I got you some footage at around five o'clock or four to show you how things were looking. And to my surprise, things were looking really good, pretty pigmented. Here on the left side is the lighter side. The side we use fresh tan and always fresh. The other side is the deeper shade, which is sun soaked and always crushing. Both sides were looking good. Eyelids were looking good as well. Here we are now, later, later, later. And I'm surprised this is still on especially this side it did fade a lot for sure but i don't touch up my skin i do have oily skin and it's been 12 hours or 11 hours not bad because look i don't have bronzer on my forehead it's kind of gone and here is nice and pigmented so i like that these worked out like i imagined i wouldn't say these are the best things ever but they do last they are pigmented they blend out very well they're not patchy at all and that's what you want in products like this especially when they're kind of like powdery like this one is. And it's $7 too. So you can never beat e.l.f. with their very, very affordable prices. They do good makeup, especially for the price range. They got the job done. Are they my favorite? No. I would prefer the NYX Butter Bronzer versus these bronzers. I do think though the shade ranges that e.l.f. has with both the bronzer and blushes is really good. I really like that we have a good amount of shade and tone so we can all be included in the mix. Seven dollars, you can't beat that with a baseball bat. And this is it fam, I definitely don't look all style out. Let me know your thoughts. What side do you like more, this one or this one? Now I'm looking at this, it's kind of like natural, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is it. I love you guys so much. Let me know your thoughts. Have you picked these up? Are you going to pick them up? They're currently available on Elf's website. I will tag and link them for you. Whenever they go to the store, I will update the description box for you. This is it, fam. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.